He's Got the Whole World in His Hands is a traditional African-American spiritual, first published in 1927 in the hymnal spirituals Triumphant, Old, and New. It became an international hit in 1957 and 1958 on an increased tempo recording, performed by English singer Laurie London, who was 13 years old at the time of this recording, and has subsequently been recorded by many other singers and choirs. In its accompaniment, only two chords are used, which, according to the concepts developed for the theory in this channel, constitute the nucleus of the C major key. The C major chord corresponding to the first degree of the C major scale, tonic. The G seventh chord corresponding to the fifth degree of the C major scale, dominant. Due to the simplicity of its harmonization, this melody lends itself to the use of very lively rhythms. Here a 4-4 rhythm is proposed in which each of the beats has been divided into eighth notes, and an alternating downward and upward strumming is used in which a muting effect is introduced on the third and seventh beats, but you can choose to play the accompaniment using only four downbeats per measure. This rhythm is played next at a tempo of 120 quarter note beats per minute for you to practice until you can play it with ease. To assist you in this practice, a link to this section of the video has been included in the index contained in its description. This screen shows the details of the performance of He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Remember that in this channel the red color is used to show the melody plucking, and the blue color is used for the accompaniment chords. For more details see the video describing how to study melodies in this channel, whose link is given in the description. Next you will hear and see the plucking of He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Before the melody begins to be performed, you will see three black dots, each accompanied by a tick, which correspond to the three beats of a 3 by 4 measure. The accompaniment starts in the second measure of the melody, with the word whole. To make it easier for you to go directly to this accompaniment section, its location has also been included in the index of this video. This is a very easy to pluck melody. You can use this section to practice it, simply mute your computer speaker and follow the red dot on the fretboard. Have fun!
Thank you for watching this video, we hope you enjoyed it. Only one verse of the melody has been given, but it uses other verses that are accompanied in an identical way.